Opposition to heliocentrism was staunchly formidable on all levels until the first half of the 17th century. In his book, Pale Blue Dot, A Vision of the Human Future in Space, published in 1994, astronomer Carl Sagan quotes the Cardinal, and later on Saint, Roberto Bellarmino, the foremost Vatican theologian in the early 17th century, saying, but to affirm that the sun is really fixed in the center of the heavens, and that the earth revolves very swiftly around the sun, is a dangerous thing, not only irritating the theologians and philosophers, but injuring our holy faith and making the sacred scripture false. As unscientific as it was, Bellarmino's argument would seem reasonable when compared to an astonishing thesis presented as a flat earth map drawn by an Orlando Ferguson in 1893. Ferguson sums up his debate in the map's title and subtitles, Map of the Square and Stationary Earth. Ferguson wasn't alone. It surprisingly persisted in popular culture and in some school textbooks into the 1960s. The Quran, revealed 14 centuries ago, stresses in full harmony with modern astronomy both the sphericity and mobility of the Earth, the Sun, the moon, and all heavenly bodies rotating in ordained orbits. He created the heavens and the earth with absolute truth. He coils the night upon the daylight, and he coils the daylight upon the night, for he subjugated the sun and the moon to a perpetual order, each one traveling its orbit for a stated term, preordained by him. Most surely, he alone is the overpowering one, the most forgiving. 539.